Hi, my name is Sandy Carter and I am IBM's Vice President for Social Business Sales and Evangelism and welcome today for our Social Business Coffee Break. I'm so happy that you joined us today. What am I going to be talking about today? Well, about how social business can help you retain knowledge, especially when you have some great people who are going to be retiring, um, maybe due to you know, the, your, your particular population today and the age ranges that they're in. How can you manage that with social business? Well, let me just give you a quick example first. Um, there is a woman who worked at RB, IBM. Her name is Carol Jones, an amazing woman. In fact, she's now retired. She had many, many years with IBM. But she was an IBM fellow, which is one of our top, top levels at IBM in the technology area, and as we love to call her, an e-goddess. Now, you know, she retired, but all of that knowledge, her way of working, everything that she did is now saved inside of Connections. So many days I'll be thinking, oh, I, wish, I wish Carol was here because I could reach out to her. I actually can go out to her profile and while she's not here, she can't get access back in, I can look at the way that she worked, her files that she set up, her blogs and her wikis and still use all of that strong intellectual capital to help me do my job better and as well, others can as well. Now how could you use social business as well in a similar use case? Well, you know, enabling the workforce to learn from those who are more experienced is one of the, I think, strong suits of social. Um, if you look at the way social is architected, you can get to the right person, not based on just their job title, but based on what they do. You can have mentoring that's set up in a virtual fashion. You can make sure that you are posting and discovering information without email, so the conversations are there. And you can quickly look at different activity streams, the way that someone did their work, not just the output of the work. So what websites did they go to? What did they tag? Who did they talk to? All of it can be right there for you at your fingertips with social. It also can simplify access to capture the current generation's knowledge. So um, you're one click away from that intellectual capital. As I said with Carol from IBM, I know exactly how to get it. Social also has truly advanced search capabilities. So you can search on microblogs, on blogs, on wikis, on activity streams, pictures that you have in your media gallery, even videos. And this really enables you to find things much more quickly that are accessible out there from all of your very smart employees. It has a substitution of, um, of what, what we call shared learning and enables you to do the right level of attachment to that learning from those who are more experienced so you can share those areas of expertise. Now, if you think about this, the power of social to bring that knowledge sharing has been used by many clients around the world. IBM uses it. Bayer in Germany has used and leveraged this to ensure that they capture that intellectual capital. Others, like CMEX, are going to be proactive and they're setting up ideation so they're capturing as part of the institutional knowledge. If this sounds like your company or a challenge that you have today, please reach out to us, do a social business agenda workshop, and really explore how social can help you capture that intellectual capital of your more experienced population. My name is Sandy Carter and this has been our Social Business Coffee Break. Thank you.